Well, the concept of the projects were very much based on restoration and how do you come as an architect of today and interact with a building that is centuries old? What is it that you can do to UNESCO World Heritage Site and how do you do it intelligently and sensitively? The site was a mess when we got there and we did chromatography on all the walls and we went about understanding what was original, what was added and um, just through this very meticulous work we then came to a rationale of what we should preserve and what we should demolish. When we, were, when we did our research and looked into what Lithuanian Baroque meant and, and what were the guiding principles of the architecture, it was really the base and the roof having this sort of solidity and presence and proportionality to it. It was actually quite minimal and quite simple and quite beautiful. Then we set about really creating a language for the building. We needed to create some insertions or some additions to the buildings. We wanted to bring natural light down into the Gothic vaults and that became the restaurant. We needed to um, put a fire stair to the main building complex, but we didn't want to break the Gothic arches on the interior. We wanted to stay away from the imitation game, but we wanted to pay homage to the Baroque architecture, and so we paid homage to it by reflecting it. The notion of landscape and building both being as important as each other, and so the building appears in the landscape, and I love that idea. I thought that was a very intriguing idea of how do you actually merge building and landscape in an interesting way, and that is through reflection. So then that gave us the idea that the restaurant could become a reflecting pool through its roof. And we had this wonderful, enormous tree in the middle of the complex. And when you are in the building above the reflective roof of the restaurant, you can see the sky and the clouds moving over that roof. And there's something very intriguing about that. How UNESCO thought about restoration of World Heritage Sites. They were very adamant that you shouldn't imitate, and you should be true to your own times. And what we argued for is you want to have a solid roof where you don't see any of the glass and you don't see the Velux, and therefore you want to put the glass behind a lattice. Really was, was returning back to the original Baroque architecture. And that process took a long time, I mean the planning took years because we were actually going against the planning regulations of Vilnius and they, they accepted it. They accepted the fact that we had done our research and that it was motivated by a deep-rooted um, thinking in the original architecture and a wish to bring back the, the spirit of the Baroque but in a contemporary way. And how do we interact with, with historical buildings in, in a meaningful and playful way.